Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Kairos Time, and it is time for Brawl News. There are whispers, guys. Whispers of an update that's coming up very soon. In fact, we know that there will be a December update, and... <laughs> It's going to be soon. <laughs> I'm going to talk about what we know, speculate on some things that we don't know, and then, as always, I'm going to make some predictions, particularly on what the next brawler might be. Definitely going to want to stick around for that because my predictions tend to be creepily on point. Let's start off with the one thing that we know. We are getting a Brawl Stars update this December, and there's a very good chance that it's going to be happening soon. Frank, the team lead of Brawl Stars, has recently sent out a few tweets that have confirmed that we will be getting some sort of an update in December. In fact, when he was asked when Brawl Talk was going to be, he straight up said, in December. <laughs> I don't think this is a really surprise to anybody because before even this, I had my suspicions that we would be getting some sort of an update, and the main reason being that the Brawl Day season is coming around the corner, right? Brawl Stars celebrates Brawl Days every year since its global release. In fact, Frank confirmed that the Brawl Day skins that were released back in 2018, the first Brawl Day skins, will be put back into the game for the last time this update, meaning that it will be impossible to unlock them ever again after this year. I also think that it's fair to say that Captain Carl, Corsair Colt, and Pirate Poco will also be available during the Brawl Days because they were the Brawl Day season skins from last year. And of course, I think it's safe to say they'll be getting three Brawl Day skins that this time will be limited. Did I do it right, OJ? I don't know, I think my eyes went a little crazy. With that said, I don't actually think that Nutcracker Gale is going to be one of them. Here's why. Nutcracker Gale won the Supercell Mate contest and is going to be put into the game. In fact, Nutcracker Gale is in the current loading screen, which tells me that he's very likely going to be put into the game this update. But I don't think he's going to be a limited skin. He's already a Supercell Make skin. Why would they make him a Supercell Make skin and a limited edition skin? It, it just doesn't make sense with me. I think it's going to be permanent, and we're going to get three additional skins for the Brawl Days. Now, I could be wrong, but I think it's a pretty safe guess. Did you know that Brawl Stars' birthday is on December 12th? Sort of. Ish. Technically, it was released in beta on June 15th of 2017, but Brawl Stars was released globally on December December 12th in 2018. Now last year we had some special gifts show up in the Brawl Stars shop to celebrate this anniversary and when asked if we would be getting something like that this year Frank responded by saying <laughs> maybe Santa knows. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be shocked if we did get some sort of gift on December 12th, maybe even before then. The Brawl Stars team certainly did not forget that Brawl Stars' birthday is coming up, right? I think Frank is just kind of messing with us. But does that mean we're going to be getting an update before December 12th? I personally don't think so. In fact, the December update from last year didn't happen until after the 12th as well. So I think if we were getting an update before December 12th, we would have already had like Brawl Talk by now or something like that. And the question is, what? are we going to get in the next update? For starters, it looks like we are going to be getting a lot of balance changes. Spen dropped a meme summing up the meta last week and Frank responded by saying, not much longer, I hope you guys like change as much as you say, right? I don't know about you guys, but to me, it sounds like Frank is kind of hinting that there are going to be a lot of balance changes that are going to be happening this update. And I think there's a really good reason for that. During the last update, we hardly had any balance changes. And I think that they did that because the developers didn't want to shake up the meta too much before the Brawl Stars World Championship. But now that the champions are declared, I wouldn't be surprised if they had, if we had a massive set of balance changes, especially after seeing how extreme the meta was in the championship, right? In fact, almost half of the brawlers were played in five or fewer games in the championship, right? I'm expecting some nerfs to Carl, Brock, Gene, and Spike, and some buffs to El Primo, Shelly, Crow, Nita, Jesse, Dynamite, Ems, Leon, and Sandy. I'm also fairly certain that we'll be seeing the return of Present Plunder as a temporary game mode to celebrate the Brawl Day season. If you don't remember Present Plunder, it was kind of like a capture the flag type of game mode that released last year for the holidays. And just like Graveyard Shift seems to be the returning mode for Brawloween, I think it's safe to say that Present Plunder will be returning for Brawl Days. I also think there's a fair chance we'll be seeing some changes to Power Play. Now, this isn't 100% sure, but recently Frank was asked about his personal preference on Power Play, and he responded by saying that the format's kind of lacking and it's not really achieving what the team wants to achieve. And he also said that the team has some ideas on how to improve it down the road. Now, I know that the team has been discussing power play for a while because of previous things that Frank has tweeted out, but I don't actually think that this is going to be the update that they change power play. It might be, but I think that there are some other things that are more likely what the Brawl Stars team has been spending their time on. First of all, I think that there is a pretty good chance that Supercell will be releasing two new brawlers this update. In 2019, Brawl Stars released 10 new brawlers, and so far, in 2020, Brawl Stars has only released eight new brawlers. Now, I don't 
don't know if it super sells gold to like release 10 new brawlers every single year but as my further piece of evidence they actually released two new brawlers in the december update of last year it's not guaranteed to happen but i think we can plan on getting at least one new brawler for this update and this is my prediction for the next brawler his name is ray he fits in with Surge and Max as a superhero brawler. Now the deal with Ray is that he fires energy rays from his heavy cannon powered by Max Energy. He's a tanky brawler, but he has a slow movement speed. Not quite as slow as 8 bits, but slower than most of the brawlers in the game. Now Ray would have one big ammo bar, kind of like Amber's, and when he starts attacking, the cannon blast would only reach a short range, but it would be very spread out, kind of like Poco's attack, right? But as Ray continues to fire, the attack cone would become more and more narrower, and the range that it reaches would actually increase more and more. Now for his star power, enemies would take more damage the longer they are taking damage from the attack. Think of kind of like the Inferno Tower in the Clash world. And for his gadget, he would place down a portal where he is standing. Now when he uses his gadget a second time, he'd place down a second portal that would connect the two portals so that players could actually teleport between them. Now that port teleport Porters are in the game, it's time for them to implement it with a brawler, right? The second portal could not be placed too far from the first portal to make sure that this gadget would be a little bit more fair. You know, you couldn't just teleport from your safe to the enemy safe, right? And the gadget could only be used twice per match. Now for his super, Ray would throw down a stun grenade that would do very little damage, but enemies that get hit by it would be stunned for two seconds. And of course he could throw it over walls, kind of like, uh, like a barley attack. Now just to be clear, Ray is just a speculative brawler. Right? Obviously, Super is not going to release a brawler just like this, but I do think that some of his mechanics are fun mechanics that Brawl Stars currently does not have in the game that they will eventually add to Brawl Stars. I think it's very safe to say that they will eventually add a brawler that is going to be able to create teleporters. It's already coded into the game, they just have to make a brawler that can do that. I think that a brawler whose attack changes the longer it's being fired will also eventually be added. I think that a brawler whose damage ramps up like an Inferno Tower in the Clash universe will eventually be put into the game. And I think it's only a matter of time before they add a tanky, slow brawler whose weakness is offset by the fact that he has a really long attack range and high damage and then of course obviously supercell is going to complete the superhero trio they might add a brawler like this in this update it might be a year from now right but these are fun game mechanics that brawl stars does not currently have i think it's just a matter of time before they put them into the game and as a quick side note pipers and barley's trio still needs to be completed and there are two spots open in colette's trio so uh, we'll we'll see what they end up doing this update. The next thing I'm going to predict is that we are going to be seeing some improvements to the map maker in this update. Brawl Stars just does not release content into the game and call it a beta feature very often, right? I think their goal from map maker is to make it go from a version 0.5 to a version 1.0 as quickly as they possibly can. And I think that they're going to do it this update. I think there's a really good chance we're going to be able to create siege and hot zone maps. We'll probably also be able to make maps in one or two more environments. And I really hope that they make it easier to share maps with others right now Frank was specifically asked about using links or a code to share maps and he responded by saying that there are a few obstacles in the way for right now because of this I don't think we're going to get this type of sharing but I am hopeful we'll be able to copy maps from like if you're in a game room with somebody and you want to copy the maps to your own slot I think that will be an option at least someday and I also hope that they're going to make it so you can share your maps in like the club chat and copy from there or even just copy a map that's currently in the game like let's say you want to create a map that's like feast or famine but you don't want to have to revamp every Thing, right you get the idea I'm also kind of hoping that they add some more special tiles in the game like jump pads and teleporters that we got in recent updates and I am also really hoping for more map slots right <laughs> five is so limiting and I, I, I just want more I know that it takes a lot of memory I don't know what supercell has to deal with to double it but I would really love 10 the custom maps like please i really want that right i'm also hoping that supercell allows us to add custom rules so we can customize like um the hp of our brawlers or even be able to change the win conditions of each map but you know i don't know if that's gonna happen probably not this update i think eventually will happen but i mean a man can hope right <laughs> and my final prediction for this update is that we are going to be seeing some second gadgets for the 19 brawlers that currently only have one gadget i'm personally hoping for second gadgets for leon gale and spike but let me know in the comment section which brawlers you think need second gadgets most now in other news brawl stars release more information regarding esports for 2021 there's going to be eight open regional seasons with online monthly finals and 16 
teams are going to qualify for the world finals. A new in-game esports section is going to be added, and they're going to also do increased support for community tournaments. So like if I wanted to do a tournament, then they would be able to do some type of support for that. I don't know exactly what all of this means, but there is more information for you if you follow Brawl underscore esports on Twitter, and there's going to be even more information released um, in the future. And yeah, Frank said in January, so I can tell you that it was on a tweet. I don't have it right up, but it's, it's in a tweet, guys. In other news, Supercell recently decided to kill their most recently beta tested game, Heyday Pop. Honestly, I did one video talking about Heyday Pop and I was addicted to that game for a short while. It was so crazy fun that I had to put it to the side so I could focus on like, Brawl Stars and work and make YouTube videos for you guys. I honestly love the game, but Supercell has a really high standard of creating games that people will play for years. And unfortunately, Heyday Pop just didn't fit that category. So that's just one more game that Supercell has killed. But there is a new Supercell-ish game currently being tested. Boom Beach Frontlines. Now I actually did a video showing some gameplay from an alpha test recently. So if you like the gameplay that you're seeing right here and you want more information, then you can definitely go check that out. The game is actually being produced by a different developer named Space Ape Games, and they went to Supercell with a really cool idea of a 9v9 kind of Brawl Stars-ish game featuring characters from Supercell's Boom Beach IP. Now, I have played this game a lot, and I am really excited about it. It's not a perfect game right now. I mean, it's only an alpha test, but it has so much potential, and I'm really excited to see what comes from it. And that is it for Brawl news, and also a little bit of, like, Supercell news, right? I'm really curious to see how big this next update is going to be. Last update was, it was a really mini update, so I'm hoping for a larger one this time around, but then again, it's been less than a month since the last update, so I... I don't think we should have our hopes too high, but uh, at the same time, I mean, it can dream, right? Let me know what you want most in the next update and subscribe for more quality Brawl Stars videos like this, Brawl News, and also sneak peeks where I will show you actual footage of the next gameplay as soon as Supercell lets me. Don't forget to use code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. And for now, guys, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.